Are you looking to expand or strengthen your agribusiness in Latin America and the Caribbean? FGH International Agribusiness is the region's leading consulting firm with a wide range of projects on four continents. From beef production and produce export to feasibility, resilience, and international trade and development projects. For more info, log on to www.fghagro.com and be a part of the FGH world. Bamboo is abundantly available in Ethiopia. It's underutilized, uh, it's affordable, and it has very good properties as a substitute for tropical hardwood. We have organized about 2,000 farmers under 31 cooperatives to supply us with their bamboo. There's many, many things that make us special. Our women participation makes us special, uh, both at our farmers and and throughout the process. We have actually visited almost all parts of Ethiopia and we have actually collected the Sidama area surrounding Oromia regions. We have organized training in bamboo management so that the farmers know what is sustainable management is, how they can improve their bamboo, we have also given them training in bookkeeping. We give them training in how to manage their cooperatives as well. Innovation within the private sector opens an added possibility for Ethiopian women. Well, normally the farmers, they have their own uh, bamboo at their backyard, but whenever they have a small area to be planted further, we'll give them seedlings, which are actually better performing ones. We multiply it in our nursery so that they can cover additional land using these new varieties. We ensure that sustainable harvesting practices are, are put in place. Unless the bamboo has regenerated or replenished, we don't go back and harvest. The rotation cycle of bamboo is much shorter, four to five years, compared to tropical hardwood of 50 to 500 years. Bamboo removes four times more carbon than comparative tree. And annually, we sequester 25,000 tons of carbon from the atmosphere. The business model for the farmers as well as the transporters that are transporting our bamboo is envisioned in, in a sustainable, integrated way. We want actually these uh, transporters to be organized as micro enterprises so that they can get also credit from bank and buy their uh, donkey and car. So throughout the chain, from the harvesting of bamboo till the finished product, we have a sustainable practices in terms of uh, economic benefit, in terms of environmental benefit, in terms of uh, the industrial production. We don't use diesel, we don't use the grid. We have a self-contained combined heat power plant which uses biomass waste from the production to power our factory. Our first product line is uh, for outdoor use, uh, outdoor decking. Our second product line is indoor flooring or parquet. Now we have started a product development for our third product line, which is for structural application. Yeah. Uh, we are a pioneer. Uh, our products meet international norms and standards. Uh, we compete in the global market. I think we can set a good example, a good standard Innovation is critical for, for Africa. I think it needs to look within, I would say, because uh, we're very much resource-rich continent, innovate within and empower within more and more. Uh, and this is very much um, within the scheme of partnership, within the spirit of partnership. Um, and I would say we would not have done it without the various partnerships. <laughs>